Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be diving in and taking a look at what some of the data miners have found inside of No Man's Sky. And so, let's, let's put on a bit of background music, shall we? I guess, let's jump on over to the old Tinterwebs. Ah! And here we go, I'm online. So, I was hit on up by Dragon Sire, first of all, and he says that I'm in for a bit of a treat. So I was wondering what this treat is. Scrolling on down inside of the actual text files inside of the data mineage, they have found mentions of cross-platform. Now, we've already seen this before in previous, but it looks like they've gone to town over at Hello Games' side and put a lot more together. Not only that, there's a lot of text strings, and I'll show you what I mean, around turning in massive quantities of fish. And... Uh, it looks like Nada might even be setting you out. Nada seeks samples of the galaxy. More unusual fish. It could be that we might get another fishing mission or something coming in. But it looks like we might be able to turn these in in batches or in bulk in some way, shape or form as well. At least that's what these lines of text allude to. But other than that, we've also got a lot on UI cloud and turn and uh, cloud sort of cross save type things inside of the actual text files that you can see on the screen now that i'm scrolling through so it could be that we might get cross save maybe hello games have held on to this whole cross save stuff because we've got the playstation 5 pro about to come out it would only make sense to really put this out there once the playstation 5 pro is launched does make sense so i'm thinking we might see another update coming on the PlayStation 5 Pro launch that gives us the cross save, but not only that, maybe even an additional fishing mission. And who's to say? Maybe even other stuff to go with it. But anyway, over on the No Man's Sky Assistant app and on the side of the actual web app of this element, you can hit on up the community rewards and see what's coming next after these free fireworks. So we're unlocking these free fireworks. After that, we've got this, which seems to be a placeholder. And I'm wondering whether it's to do with maybe reduxes or something. I have I have no idea what that is, or unless it's relation to the PlayStation 5 Pro launch. And maybe there might be something else slotted in here. Wouldn't it be cool to get a PlayStation helmet. You no, know, when they went to Xbox and they got a lovely Xbox helmet. It'd be cool if we could get a PlayStation one that looks like the new PlayStation 5 with the side vents, but more Corvaxi or something. I don't know. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? We'll see. We'll see what comes into this slot here. But that, after the fireworks, looks like a placeholder to me. I could be wrong. But then after that, we've got these. We've got like a giant fur cone, and we've got some icy type stuff, and a cold cup plant. This kind of says to me, December. It's kind of the winter months, isn't it? This Christmassy type looking shizzle, that. So I'm wondering whatever comes after these fireworks, it might take us a while to unlock before it trips over to this, perhaps in December time. Then after that, we've got all these lovely badges from the community. All different communities, all different hubs, given representation through decals inside of No Man's Sky. I'm just so sad that mine isn't there. Ah, oh, why is my decal not there? I have a hub. Come on, hello games. Put my decal in. That'd be freaking lovely. Okay, scrolling up, we've got some more plants here. And these look a little bit more like they belong in I don't know, an ornamental pond. We've got all different lilies and spoon leaves and all sorts of stuff like that. I could make my own proper nice little lovely pond using these. And then if you get the Wonders catalogue, you could sort of like put in your little fish in there. You could make such a cool ornamental pond with these. And that screams to me... You know, Jan well, maybe January time, perhaps, who knows? Maybe even later than that. It could be the turn of spring, you know? But then we get these. These look really nice, these palm fronds and stuff like that. Couple that with this. You can make a nice little oasis, couldn't you? Heck yes, you could. I'm looking forward to all these parts. I don't know about you guys, but I really am. I mean, even the um, wintry ones would be quite cool for you know, making a nice little Christmassy type grotto or base, wouldn't it? Then we've got a couple of these, Corvax Emblem Banner, Viking Emblem Banner, and Gek Emblem Banner. Mm, will I use them? Probably not, to be fair. But, nice to have. Then after that, we've got the Spring Bush and the Floating Tassel Lily. A uh, Sprig Bush, not Spring, sorry. But yeah, quite nice, pretty nice. But then we've got these that make me think, 
well, maybe this is still going to be December. <laughs> because look, these are all icy, frosty and lovely. There's still maybe the winter months, which takes us into, what, February time before we kick into spring again. So it could be, you know, these take us all the way up to end of Feb, maybe, to the end of the winter. But then we've got this Peeping Fauna banner, which is actually quite cute. I quite like that one. There you go, look at, look at this. I don't know whether I can make it any bigger. Uh, can I cannot make it bigger. No, I guess I can't. All right, fine. But that, that's pretty darn cool, that one. That one's nice. So there's quite a lot on the horizon inside of the Quicksilver store, enough to keep us busy for a heck of a lot of months to come. So there you go, people. That's everything that I know so far from data mining that's been shared with me. There has been a couple of other posts over on the Twitter space. I will go in more in detail as and when we've got more for you. But for now, I think when the PlayStation 5 Pro launches, we might get cross save. We might get cross save, and it looks like there might be some tweaks happening with fishing. Other than that, do I think Worlds Part 2 is on the agenda for the launch of PlayStation 5 Pro? Well, I still want to know why the freaking Atlas is crumbling right here. That, I think, is to come in the near future. Just depends how near that future is. I don't know. Is a short answer. I don't know, people, whether we're going to see another update this year. This year has been a colossal year for Hello Games and No Man's Sky. But what I would say is normally the GIB emoji is held back for big updates. Now, I wouldn't say Aquarius was big and I wouldn't say the Cursed was big, but both of them got the GIB emoji. So either the GIB emoji means nothing anymore and I've linked it and put patterns to it that didn't freaking exist but it feels like every time there's been a gib it's always been a big one like you know like origins or next or not some expedition stuff but i'm wondering whether fishing has got more depth to be added to it i'm wondering whether we're going to get the fish models actually appearing in game we've already seen the manta rays put out there by that bomber boy so there's not many more models they need to create a couple of shrimps and a couple of snails easy de peasy right so maybe they might add in aquariums. Maybe they might add more to the fishing. In fact, inside of those text files was a whole load of new sort of titles related to fishing. So maybe they're going to start popping as well. But maybe they're going to add more depth to fishing. And maybe what we just saw inside of the cursed is going to be elements that come over into game. I mean, let's face it. Those majestic freaking jellyfish creatures are not just going to bin those, are they? I mean, we had emergence and we got all the worm babies and all that sort of stuff. You know, the bulb, you know, the, they got added into game from the expedition. I think the same thing's going to happen with these jellyfish creatures. And I think they're going to appear in purple systems. So I think the reason that Hello Games has used those gibs for two small expeditions in a roundabout way is because they're elements that are going to be coming inside of Worlds Part 2, which is gib worthy. That's the only way I can make sense of this gib freaking saga that's going on at the moment. Let me know what you think in the, in, the, in the comments, people. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if I'm going insane. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.